Hey everyone, this is John Robinson from Blueprint Investment Partners. Today is October 29th, 2021, and this is the monthly asset allocation update video. Uh, this video is produced as a supplement to the longer form written piece where this month we talk about timeframes. And given September's downside volatility and the, the expansion in volatility overall, particularly in the equity markets, and then the subsequent bounce back in October, it's really important to understand what timeframes not only your clients have in terms of their goals, but what timeframes you're employing in terms of risk management and how that impacts investor behavior, taxes, costs, and a whole host of other variables. So I'd encourage you to go read that if you haven't already. Um, as we look at November and the allocation changes, really this month it's, um, a lot of the same. U.S. equities continue to be in rising trends. U.S. equities are, uh, I would say, by far the strongest equity segment in the world and have been for some time. When you look at foreign developed and emerging, uh, this month they've recovered, but uh, depending on the day, uh, the intermediate term trend turns positive or turns negative, and that's not uncommon in terms of the data, but in terms of our strategies, uh, regardless of whether we end the month in a rising intermediate term trend in either foreign developed or emerging, uh, we'll remain overweight U.S. given their strength relative to their inter international counterparts. On the real estate side, we remain fully exposed. Uh, it is the strongest asset class that we hold uh, year to date and, and on a trailing 12 and no change to exposure there. Fixed income, uh, as you read the note, you will, you will know that um, fixed income has our duration, the duration of our fixed income exposure has steadily declined over the past year uh, or more. And we'll do the same going into November. So the longer term U.S. government bond is now in an intermediate term downtrend and we'll reduce that exposure and hand it off to TIPS, which are now in a rising trend over the intermediate term it's been flat to down uh, for the past four or five months. The longer term trend it maintains, and now the intermediate term trend has re-engaged to the upside. So we'll take that exposure from the longer duration bonds and hand it off to tips. On the short term fixed income side, uh, that exposure will decrease as uh, and be returned back to tips. In some of our less aggressive strategies like balanced and conservative, you might see uh, short-term fixed income remain the same or even tick up slightly as the longer-term bond will simply hand down to shorter-term bonds. Alts, we express alts in uh, the form of gold. Gold remains in a downtrend over all time frames. It's been like that for most of the year, flat to choppy, and we've been able to avoid a lot of that chop by executing on a monthly basis, and it will remain in a downtrend, therefore no change to exposure heading into November. So what that looks like, uh, it's pretty simple this month. We're taking longer term government bond exposure and handing it off to inflation protected securities. So what are the big takeaways? Well, U.S. stocks are at all time highs. They're back at all time highs after it. What, what amounts to a blip in September? Didn't feel like that during September, but it, looking back, uh, sure looks like one. And they remain the strongest equity segment uh, in, in the world and have for um, many months now. Secondly, uh, allocations remain largely unchanged, certainly in equities, uh, a little bit of rotation in fixed income, but uh, not a lot of turnover heading into November and, and that's how we like it. So uh, lastly, the topic of timeframes. We talk about timeframes a lot. If you recall, our strategies use three different timeframes in order to lo look at the world and manage risk. We have the intermediate term, trend, the longer term trend, and then we have a strategic portion uh, of the portfolio, which has a much longer term time frame. Uh, but as an advisor, the feedback we hear is that most of the time, time frames get discussed in terms of the client's uh, goals and how many years until the client, uh, the, the goals of the client crystallize, whether that's uh, saving for college, uh, saving for a new house, saving for retirement, saving for uh, legacy, what have you. 
And we look at timeframes a little bit differently. Yes, that is the most important time frame, helping clients achieve their goals. But also, when you think about investor behavior and you think back to September, when we go from a no vol or very low vol environment to all of a sudden downside volatility kicks in, which is typically how it goes in, in equity markets, uh, timeframes get compressed by emotion. And so we don't want to rely on just one time frame as we help you manage your clients' emotions, uh, help manage on taxes, help manage on transaction costs in some cases, but it really all leads back to behavior. So uh, if you haven't thought about timeframes, you know, it's our view that timeframes are, are vital and they're often ignored or at least just resigned to the discussion around the client's goals and not the tactics or strategies in which you're going to manage the client's investments along the way in order to raise the probability that they meet their goals. So we're having this discussion a lot, uh, particularly as uh, in September when we made no tactical shifts uh, by design and now equity markets have bounced back. So this time frame discussion is, um, you may be having it, you may be thinking about it, and if you are, uh, reach out to us. We'd love to have the conversation with you amongst other things that are going on, like inflation, like taxes, like new legislation, like all of the other um, concerns or at least news items. Maybe you, you look at those as noise like we do, but sometimes clients are concerned about that. And we've been having those discussions a lot lately on calls with advisors and certainly in a lot of the writing we do. So if any of that is attractive to you, reach out to us. Uh, if, something I haven't mentioned, uh, you would like to incorporate into your practice and have us involved with that. Nothing's off the table. Uh, we love to iterate with, with advisors and really dive in and, and we look at the advisors we work with as partners. So uh, we'll treat you like that if you reach out to us. Uh, how do you reach out to us? So you can go to our website, blueprintip.com. You can reach out to us via email. You see my email on the screen and you can get all of our emails on, on the website. Uh, or through LinkedIn or Twitter. So with that, um, you know, we're coming up to the end of the year now, which is pretty amazing. Uh, uh, enjoy the, uh, this coming weekend, uh, Halloween weekend, and I look forward to seeing you after Thanksgiving at the end of November. So with that, thanks for your time, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.